Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a software developer based in Baltimore, and today we're going to go over wireframes. Wireframes are just a way for designers to communicate to developers how they intend the product, like a website or mobile application, to be laid out. So these are some key takeaways about wireframes that we'll go over in this video. A very common analogy is to compare wireframes to blueprints. So here on the left, we have a blueprint of a house that describes how the first floor should be laid out. And similarly, on the right, we have a sample of a wireframe for a website that shows how the designer wants the website to be laid out. There's a phone number, logo, and menu at the top, followed by a picture underneath, and then the layout of the content after that. A common misconception is that you have a lot of aesthetic details in a wireframe, but one key part about them is that they emphasize usability. This means you won't really see things like colors, specific fonts, or any of the bells and whistles that you see in this picture here. This is so that you can focus on the structure of the design. Similarly, blueprints also don't specify implementation details like the type of material the counters will be made of or the color the walls will be painted. With wireframes, what you see is an organized visual of what a feature is going to look like relative to the page. So here are some wireframes for a social media app, and in the wireframe on the far right, you just need to scroll down to view more content. Wireframes can afford to focus on usability because they're created before mockups in the design process. So after they're created and approved, the designers will go back and fill them in to create more mature mockup designs, or more specific design sketches of what the application should look like. Once wireframes are created, then there are discussions between the designers and the team to make sure that the wireframes address the business needs and that the proposals are feasible. From there, the designers will create more formal mockups to pass off to the developers to build. Meanwhile, developers can use those wireframes to break the design down into pieces and translate those pieces into a development plan for their sprint. For example, say the designer came to me with these wireframes for a feature that allows the user to book flights. I would most likely break them into three different views, one to list flights, one to find flights, and one to fill in passenger information. But I can break them down even further into developable components. So starting with pieces that are common across all of the views, there's a logo, there's some kind of header, and a continue button. Since they're the same in all three, they can each be generalized and reused across each of the views. Now in the leftmost view, there's also a list of the bookings where each of the cards are the same. So that could be another component. In the middle view and the view on the right, I would probably simplify the whole form as a developable component. So now we end up with something like these components and can break them up into tasks to complete or determine what order to complete them. Each team may do it a bit differently and your existing code base and perspective could change how you would tackle these wireframes. Don't worry about the wireframes lacking in detail. The main focus should be on the logical components of the design. And so developers can use the wireframes to break the design down into a development plan. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to this channel and join the conversation by dropping a comment below. And if you're ready to take your skills to the next level, you can start learning on Codecademy today.